my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. And if you're brand new here, my name is Melanie Kate Love and I make videos every single Sunday or Monday depending on where you are in the world. And I make these videos to help you deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. Now, this week ahead, it is May 27th until June the 2nd. This week, we're going through two phases of the moon. We're going to be starting the week off in the breathing phase. This is when you breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. So this is going to be happening for the majority of the week from Monday through Thursday. Then when we move into Friday, we actually are moving into the balsamic moon, which is one of my favorite times of the whole moon cycle. This is an amazing time to reflect with gratitude and to take time to rest, to think back, to be like, what have you achieved over this eight um, cycles of the moon that you have been going through through this month? What have you been going through? What has been some amazing things? What has been some things that you would change as you prepare for the new moon in the next phase, which we'll talk about next week? There is a lot going on this week and considering the bang that we went out, the bang that we went out with last week, I'm super excited to see how this energy infiltrates into this week's reading. Because as you know, last week we we're talking about the full moon in Scorpio. We got to the end of a cycle. We got the world card. We got the king of pentacles. We got the queen of cups. You broke the cycle of something and you are ready. Well, you're not, well, you broke the cycle, but I kind of feel like you're finishing off that chapter and then come the new moon, bam, it is on. Anyways, so that's the two phases of the moon that we're going through for this week. You'll probably notice that your energy is going to start to wind down as the moon starts to wane. So this week, I'm going to be using the Shadowscapes Tarot. So many of you asked me, I use the Shadowscapes Tarot for my readings. This is just a general reading. So just take from this what feels truly best for you. I just need to double check I'm recording my audio. Yes, so we can continue. All right, my loves, I'm so excited for you. So as we started with last week, I started pulling the focus card first. If that's something that you want, can you just vote just up here for me so I can know? Because um, previously I've been doing it last, but I don't know, I've kind of changed things up. All right, so what's the focus for this week? Angels, what do my MK Love Fam need to know for this week? Focus from May the 27th. Ooh, interesting. We got the hangman. The hangman is all about looking at what you're going through from a different perspective. It's like, what, how would your higher self see, view this situation? I have a really bad headache now. Okay, let's see how this fits in to this week. Okay, so we're looking at things from a different perspective. Let's see what you need to know for Monday. So Monday is breathing with ease and giving back from a place of love. There's a lot. It's quite one, two, three, four cards. I'm just gonna pull the first one and see if I need the rest, if I need further clarity. Ooh, okay, so the Hierophant, the giver of knowledge. This could be knowledge from, whoa, um, I never get this word right. Akashic records. It's your records from your ancestors. I can't remember how to say that. This, whoa, okay. So that was the first thing that popped into my head. This could be looking at information from your past life. This could be looking at wisdom within yourself, being your own guru. This could be you looking for universal guidance. This could be you looking for signs, synchronicities, synchronicities, wisdom. This could be you working with somebody else. This could be you working with me if you're one of my dream clients, if you're a vibrational match to be in my course. This could be, Herifin is the giver of knowledge, the giver of wisdom. We've been talking so long, so basically this whole year about working with people who have the results in which you want. This could be, depending on what level of spirituality you're at. Let's get some, I kind of feel like I want to pull the other three cards. That is amazing. So breathing with ease, knowing that you have all of the answers, the answers for everything that you could possibly ever know can be found within, you know? 
When people come to work with me, I don't tell them what to do. I just reflect, well, I, I, I give them the strategies and the tools and then they figure out how to get to where they need to go because I mirror to them the things that they need to change. I help them to step up in a way that they haven't been able to step up before. This is, this is intuition, that's why my head is hurting. Okay, let me pull the other three cards. Okay, wow, wow, and wow. Okay, so we have the Emperor, which is, which is the very masculine energy, but this is the structure and the logic to get to where you need to. We have the Four of Swords. This is all about resting, working smarter and not harder. That came up two weeks ago. And then we have the Four of Cups, which is reflecting back. As I reflect on the life I've been given, um, I am puzzled how I lost control. Oh, that's that song. Don't look back. Don't you ever do that. Don't look back. I'm never looking back. Well, you can look back and reflect and you'd be like, okay, this is what happened. This doesn't serve me in this new fabulous me that I'm creating. I think it's important to look back, but it's not... I don't think it's okay to look back and get caught there. That's why people get caught in depression, which is a time of deep rest. But in that deep rest, in that depression, that maybe some of you may have slipped down the emotional guidance scale, which is okay, because I was there like last month or the month before, um, and I had slipped in for a couple of days. My head is throbbing, but it's on this side. It's like boom, boom, boom. When you're in that stage, it gives you perspective. It shows you that you never want to get to this stage before and what do you need to do to get out of this or how do you minimize the risk of you getting back into it? And if you do, how the flip do you get out super flipping quick? Sometimes the depression can come through a spiritual awakening as you're not really sure how to navigate these new tools. I've been given a lot of new tools recently and I was like, I I didn't even know that was possible. I don't know anyone that's talking about what I've been going through. And then, and then the universe finds you, the people that help you learn and to heal this new area. Ah, oh, this is so interesting. Okay, so let's just figure this out for Monday. So Monday is like, you're getting wisdom. You're putting the structures in place. You're working smarter and not harder, but you're reflecting back I kind of go to depression with this for some of you actually not for all of you because this is just a general reading some of you may have been oh okay so maybe some of you are witnessing somebody in your family that may be going through a tough time or maybe you are witnessing that you are going through a tough time I feel like this is you helping other people because this is giving back breathing with ease and giving back from a place of love Maybe this is you identifying or seeing someone who's going through a tough time and you're like, you know what? Well, what if I just talk to you for five minutes today? Or how, do you want a cup of tea? Um, it's interesting because when I lived in London, this is crazy because I'm, you know how I've been talking about, I've been going through this 10 year cycle, something that happened 10 years ago, this history that's repeating in my astrological chart, which I'll be able to figure out on Wednesday when I speak with an astrologer and I'll be like, what is happening? Tell me what this means. And, um, and I remember I got kicked out of a house on technicality issues, which I was able to rectify in hindsight. And, um, as I was walking to work and I was like, I've just been kicked out of my house. He said, I have 24 hours to get out. And I was like, technically that's not true once I figured everything out. And I was walking to the train station. This is in London Bridge, this is where I used to live. And I was walking and this homeless man who I pass every single day, he said to me, Dylan, it's gonna be all right. And I could have like burst into tears and I'm like, and I, di I didn't even say anything back to him because I was such in shock. And then the next day I went to go back to thank him and he was gone. And I was like, but you're there every day. Now you're not there. And I was like, oh my God, you're such an, you're an angel. You're an angel. So I feel like, because this, is week, this week is all about looking back. Well, it's looking at things from a different perspective. And the structures and supports that you have been putting in place. I don't know. I feel like you're helping somebody out. Because you know how to 
do it or maybe you're at a place and you're like, I don't know what to do and you're like what, what has to change something has to change if I keep doing the same thing I'm gonna get the same results if you change it up you find the right people that who who's the hierophant for you who's the first person that popped into your mind right now type it in the comment box if you're on the live chat I'm gonna stop stop Hammer time. <laughs> right in the comments box. Who is this hierophant for you? Is this a teacher? Is it a coach? Is this you? Have you gotten to the stage where you've broken something? I feel like some of you have and some of you haven't. It just really, really depends where we're at. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look for Tuesday. That was a lot. What a Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday is still breathing with these. What do we need to know, angels? And I'll make it a bit faster because we're already third way through the reading, but only on Monday. <laughs> do we need to know for Tuesday? Thank you very much. Tuesday, the 10 of wands. Okay, so you're breathing with these. You're reflecting back and you're like, do you remember that time where I was taking on too much? Because this happened like three weeks ago, I believe, or four weeks ago when you were taking on too much. And it was like, okay, how do you simplify your life? How does that simplification look? Simplification? Is that right? How do you simplify your life? Or where did you simplify your life? As you're breathing with these, I kind of feel like this is kind of all meshing in with reflecting. As every as the moon is waning and you're like thinking back, even though we're in the breathe with these, I kind of feel like this, these energies of the waning moon and the balsamic are kind of intertwined together. Because this is like taking on too much. It's like, I need to do it this, 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 this. And it's like, I did it my way. <laughs> <laughs> like what does did you do it your way and it didn't work out and you need to find somebody else to help you I don't know simplifying choose one thing and then I saw a scene from um, eat pray love when they're sitting in the room and he said I want he wants to be his own lawyer and they're about to separate and, he, and she's and, he, and she's like I just want you to pick one because they're trying to divide up all of their marital assets and he's like, I choose you, I pick you, I choose you or something like that. It's like, just choose one. That's a really dark thing to say. Maybe some of you are breaking. I know some of you have broken, your relationships have broken down in your romantic relationships, which I'm really sad to hear, but at the same time, it's a divine intervention. Ooh, okay. Now on Wednesday, we have the seven of wands. This is all about fighting and protecting for what you truly believe. Now, because we're looking at the hanged man, how does that fit into place? Did you fight and protect to the death too much? Did you lose a friendship? Are you thinking back like, oh, I could have handled things a little bit differently? Or did you go, I'm so freaking proud of myself because I did this and I have never done that before. Ah, this is so interesting. I don't know how this like fits with last week because last week was like you ending the cycle. Are you looking back and you're like, yeah, well, I stood up. I did things my way and and I'm so happy that I did that because I wouldn't have done that a couple of years ago. I probably wouldn't even done that a couple of months ago. All right, Thursday. Breathing with ease, giving back. Are you now protecting somebody else or are you instigating? There is a lot of cards that are flying out of my hands right now. And the first card I saw was actually the Empress. And then the other card that flew out is the High Priestess. There is a lot of major shift in events, major life changes, which is interesting because last week we had the world, which is the end. You've gotten to the end, you're starting again. And today we have the Emperor and the Empress. So that's the balance. The Emperor is, is the woman it's fertility, it's new life, it is nurturing, loving, it is transformational. Oh, sorry, my little plant. The high priestess is your intuition, that inner knowing. Also, a lot of trusting in your intuition, because you can hear your intuition, but you may not act on it, but being in a receptive mode to hear. It's very feminine energy, so how does that fit in with the hanged man? This transformation that you're going through, This is inner transformation. That's what we've been talking about, the inner transformation. You've been prepping all of the work. You know, you have been lining everything up. You've been prepping behind the scenes, but people haven't been able to see what you've actually been doing. Prepping behind the scenes. And it actually was a good thing because it's preparing you for what is to come. Okay, Friday is the balsamic moon. 
I reflect with gratitude and take time to rest. You've been going through a lot. Okay. Uh, this card has been coming out quite a lot when I was shuffling. The Ten of Swords. You're reflecting back to see all of the things that don't serve you. And you actually had to say goodbye, but I love me more. You got to that stage this month. You're looking back and you're like, oh, okay, I understand. This could also be shedding. Everything I look at now is all to do with menstruation because I've just been learning so much about the menstrual cycle and fertility and the ten of I just see it like shedding but then the shedding happens in the new moon but these are so closely woven together shedding what no longer serves you this is so interesting this is releasing what no longer serves you reflecting back and you're like there's a lot of things that have happened there's a lot of people that may have gone or maybe I don't spend as much time with these people because they're not an energetic match to where I need to be the negativity is toxic and I don't need that in this new chapter where I'm going because I have to be in a higher vibrational state to manifest all of the delicious goodness that I want if I look at me and my life and everything that I have been through with like becoming vegan and becoming spiritual and the healing my childhood traumas and getting to the vibrational stage where I manifested my husband to manifesting my dream clients that I work with and I help them to heal their emotional pain from their childhood traumas so they can get to the stage where they have broken that cycle of abuse and they now have the strategies and the tools to manifest unconditional inner freedom in their life however that looks like my beautiful eva is on the journey to become the most amazing artist and christine she is working to create this beautiful family life where she's planning a trip to go overseas with her family like that's something that she's wanted to do for a very long time and that is her unconditional inner freedom family family is everything to her and what what does this look like for you as you're reflecting back and you're like what does this look like for me? What did I have to leave to make room for what is to come? Whew. One, two, three, four, five. Saturday, the balsamic moon. Wow, that was a quick one. The temperance, the balance. So you're reflecting to be like, I restored the balance because you broke the cycle. You broke the cycle of something. You got to the stage where you're like, this is, I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. And you broke the cycle. There is so many massive life events that have happened in the last month. And you're reflecting back and you're saying, I'm so happy and grateful that I went through all of that shit, all of that pain, all of those tears, all of those days where I had no get up and go. I like lost my mojo for life, but I knew that it was okay to just rest. And I knew that I had to go through everything that I have been through because it is leading me to where I want to be. It just looked different. <laughs> All right, and Sunday, let's see what we need to know for Sunday. There it is. Ah, the Two of Pentacles, which as you guys know, has been coming up for a very, very long time. The two of pentacles is the balance, restoring the balance. And the temperance is the same too. The temperance is also like, it's the yin and the yang. Both of them is all about balance. One, actually, what's the difference between them? Pentacles is abundance and however that looks like for you. And it's also like juggling things. How do you, how do you juggle everything in your life? Because we also had on Tuesday, the 10 of wands, because you were juggling too much and it was just not working out for you. This is amazing. You've restored the balance. You have broken free. I don't hear any songs for this week. Nothing is really coming up that I'm just like, wow, that's your anthem for the week. Maybe it's because we're reflecting back and we've had all of the anthems. We've learned all of the lessons. We're looking back and we're like, oh, shit, this is what happened. This is what I actually achieved. And maybe it wasn't on the tick boxes externally but internally you've ticked a lot of things off and you should be so happy and grateful i feel like this the hangman is because it's not a month of 
succeeding in work, not really a month of, I kind of feel like this is a month of succeeding just for you. And sometimes they're, well, I feel like that's the greatest gift. And so many people are so caught up and like, I gotta do this, 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 and this. It's like, you know, I'm just taking time to, to look after me. And I am fine with that because I am the biggest project I'm ever gonna work on. You literally are your greatest asset. Without your health, your vitality, without your beautiful, positive thoughts, without you looking in the mirror and going, I'm flipping beautiful, like I am gorgeous, I am amazing and I'm changing the world. Like I make a difference. I am lovable because I exist. The chances of me being born into this world is just astronomical and I made it through. There is a purpose for me. There is a purpose to all of this pain that I've been through and I'm now seeing the beauty. I'm now seeing the blessings and I'm so happy and grateful for where I am. This is where you're at. This is a, this is a different week to last week. I kind of, last week was kind of like, yeah, like the victory. This week is kind of like, yeah, you did it. And looking back, it's, it's so important to take stock of where you've come from because it makes you go, wow. Like I have on my vision board, I've got two vision, well, well, I call it vision boards. I've kind of got like a vision of like my dream life and everything that I'm manifesting. But then I've also got, um, it's kind of like an achievement of everything that I have achieved in my business. Well, cause my vision board is predominantly face. Well, the one that I have next to me right now is predominantly for Korea. But as I said last week, everything is interconnected. If I'm doing well in Korea, then I'm doing well in every other area of my life. Otherwise there's an imbalance because if you're not succeeding in one area, it's because there's a blockage for something else. You're looking at the blockage, you're healing, you say, thank you, thank you, thank you. What do I need to know? And then you're blooming and you're grow growing and you're evolving. This is huge. I'm very impressed with you. I don't know really what to call this week because the hangman is like looking at things, this perspective. Maybe this week is all about perspective. or reflection, reflective perspective. <laughs> I don't know, I would have figured it out by the time you're watching this. I'm really excited for you. Next week we move into the new moon. I don't know what sign it's in actually, I haven't even looked that far ahead. But considering last week we had the world card, which is the, there's no other card in the tarot. That's like going through 77 other cards until you get to card number 78, which is the very last card in the tarot deck, the 78 cards, you've gotten to the very final card. And now you're, 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 you're prepping for what's coming. Like just really take time to just look after yourself. So for the balsamic, well, for this week, your energy is winding down. I really want you to focus, especially on this weekend, actually perfect Friday to Saturday, Friday to Sunday, is the balsamic moon. So take yourself into mother nature. Take yourself to your happy place. Take yourself, I don't know, watch that movie you wanted to watch. What Read that book you want to read. Have that bubble bath. Have the bath with Epsom salts and lavender oil because I've been doing that a lot and oh my gosh, it's helping so much. I don't know, have your lemon and ginger tea. <laughs> Just, I really want you to protect your vibration because next week it is on. I'm really excited for you. If you watched this far, I am very grateful for you. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for leaving the most beautiful heartfelt comments. Thank you so much for liking my videos. If you are subscribed to the MK Love Fam, Thank you, thank you so much. If you're one of those beautiful high vibe MK love fam that turn up week after week on the live chat, and I know you by your first name because you're there every single week, I just wanna say thank you because you really make a difference in my life. You make a difference collectively in the MK love fam. Like the fact that our MK love fam, like there's normally about 30 to, 30 to 35 of you on every single week around the world where a family at that time and I feel the vibration and I just wanted to say thank you because that means so much to me and for all of you beautiful souls that your schedules don't line up maybe you're asleep I don't know I try to time it so everyone is awake just for a little bit um, but daylight savings has kind of changed that um, especially LED I know you watch from 
from France every single week and it's like your bedtime 11 o'clock to 11 30 p.m that you watch this i just want to say thank you i think that's what i'm trying to say i'm reflecting back and i'm like thank you guys like thank you so much for being part of my journey thank you for jumping on a strategy call if you did with me this month i'm so thankful to be able to speak with you and to share part of your soul i just i'm i just feel really grateful maybe that's where i'm i don't say it enough and i'm i'm very thankful for you and I just wanted to say have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I can't wait to see you next week as we go through the new moon energy and that's it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next week. I love you. I love you.